Welcome to AR7 everyone, this is a quick video by community request for yield farming tutorial on Solana DeFi Radium version 2 and today we're gonna provide liquidity for Block and USDC. So first let's connect our wallet, <clears throat> just choose the wallet that you want to use so we're gonna use Phantom for today. Um, so once we're logged into the wallet, uh, we uh, will need to buy some of the token that we want to farm. So as we said, we want to farm some block. So for that, I'm just going to purchase here a little amount of new uh, block tokens. Click on swap. It will ask us to uh, confirm the transaction. We confirm. <coughs> Solana is a fast blockchain and pretty soon we should see our uh, transaction being confirmed over here. And there we are, we have our new block tokens. Just double check please guys, so if you uh, have bought $50 worth of USDC with block, uh, you affected the price a little bit and then some other trades may um, happen right after you. So just when you want to provide liquidity, just remember to still have some extra uh, funds uh, of USDC or of block so that you do have enough 50-50% uh, that you're gonna be providing liquidity with. So. Uh, next step, we're going to liquidity and uh, here I'm just going to click on max for the maximum amount of block that I have and here you can see it's going to be a little less of USDC. So um, we just will need to confirm that we understand in case you've never done uh, liquidity before. This is a really good guide and definitely give it a, give it a read. So just double check in 372 block, almost 50 uh, of USDC, add liquidity. And it will ask us to approve the transaction once again. And now we're just waiting for the transaction to get approved on the blockchain. And uh, soon we will have our liquidity ready here. So there you go. You see I don't have any block anymore. And the USDC amount that I had was uh, added to the liquidity. And now I'm part of the overall liquidity pool for the block and USDC. But if you want to farm then you will still have an extra step if you just wanted to add liquidity and to get the uh, fees from the trading so you're good but in case you want to farm the extra apr that uh, you're going to be getting for your farm you will have one more step from here so for step number three we go to farms and over here we will just be looking for the token that we want to uh, uh, farm which is uh, excuse me which is a block token uh here it is this is <clears throat> and we will just need to deposit our uh, LP token. So once we provide the liquidity, uh, um, we are like providing the block and the USDC into the pool. But then we are gonna uh, uh, we're gonna get into our wallet kind of a representation token that we have done it. So over here, what you see here, this is the representation token, uh, which is called just LP tokens. So we just do stake LP. Um, and will be um, provided once again by an approved transaction here from Phantom Wallet. We're just gonna wait for it to approve. There we are. <coughs> so pretty soon we should be able to see that we have provided the liquidity and there we go, yeah, sorry. So this is the LP tokens that we provided liquidity for. And after a while, we'll be able to see here pending rewards. So just in order to uh, take the rewards of the block tokens from the APR, all you need to do is just click here on harvest. And um, there you go. That's how you yield farm on Radium for block USDC pair. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please let me know in the comment section below. I was AR7 and that was a video on Radium V2 yield farming. Thank you very much for watching guys and have a wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world. Cheers guys.